and welcome back. I am Lord Ravenwork. This is XCOM. And you know something? I'm. I'll be honest, people haven't been watching the series, and I think that's probably because I've been making the episodes too long. So I'm going to start doing something I should have just been doing from the beginning, and I'm going to start breaking up my recording sessions rather than trying to fit a whole mission into every episode. So, let's take a look. I believe during the last mission, yep, Ankod got shot because he's apparently a bullet magnet. Poor Ankod. Let's just scan for activity, shall we? Okay, well, let's see. Is there any new... The new engineers arrived this morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. Okay, so we just got a new workshop. So, theoretically, we should be able to get ourselves another satellite uplink. That would take most of our remaining money. I'm gonna do it. What's the point of money if you're not gonna spend it, and... Besides, it's pretty late into March. We will get the next 319 credits once the once we reach the end of the month, which will be on the 31st. Satellite coverage now available over France. Okay, that's good. Let's quickly assign a new research again. Read this if you want to. I'm not going to read it out to you. So, scope. It's a good item for increasing accuracy. I'd buy one immediately, except I don't really have very much money. And carapace armor. I would really like some carapace armor. I mean, don't get me wrong, there's a lot of nice stuff here. But... Eight days for a sectoid autopsy. I'm thinking let's go with the carapace armor. Uh, I mean, beam weapons are also pretty tempting. But I'm gonna go... I'm still having a hard time grasping what it is the aliens are hoping to accomplish here. Are they studying us? Why abduct humans seemingly at random? There must be a pattern that we haven't established yet. Maybe all they need is, uh... is humans. And so they don't put much thought into it. Simplest explanation is usually the best. Uh... But yeah, I, I, I want to start going, um defense before we start going offense cuz you know that just seems like a better idea and incoming transmission end of the month we get we are extremely impressed with the progress of the XCOM project thus far commander your recent results were beyond our expectations and that is not a statement this council makes lightly yeah, we got grade A for the first month because we shot down every UFO and won every confrontation. So yeah, that's good. Uh, we need to start getting more satellites in Europe. Sheesh, there's a lot of panic going on there. So, now that we've just gotten 300 more more dollars, the new engineers arrived this morning, commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. I think I'll buy one scope. From what little I've seen of their technology, if the aliens were intent on conquering Earth, 
There's not much we could do to stop them. I'm guessing they have something else in mind. Yeah, who better to give um, an item with a name bonus than the sniper, who's only managed to get one kill thus far, so really good to get some extra accuracy. Honestly, a lot of our guys could use some extra accuracy. Although, oddly enough, not Eidberg, because she just kills everything. Okay, but, but seriously, let's get a mission. There are some people watching, we need to give them a show. Me fucking around. I mean, look, Ancod Panicus has just come back to service. That's how long we've been waiting. We've got some people here. F Okay, do I want to assign any new construction projects? We do have the money. But we don't really need to at the moment. And we've got extra satellites. I'm thinking we put one over Russia. Satellite launched. Okay. And so... We can get two more in the sky. So, here's what I'm thinking. We go to engineering. We order two more if we can afford it. We can. Oh. We don't need to get, build two more because we've got one on the way. So we'll build one more. In four days we'll launch one over one of the other European countries. Probably the, um... Probably whichever one is, uh, pays the most money. So they pay equal, so I don't really care. Maybe the UK. Maybe Germany. Doesn't matter, it would be an arbitrary decision. And then, on the 27th, we'll get to launch the other one. Ah! Commander, we're receiving a transmission from the Council. Coming on screen. It's not the end of the month, so this must be a mission. The Council has been monitoring unusual reports about a hijacking attempt on an unauthorized French military convoy Although the alleged perpetrators were human, our intel indicates the aliens may also have been in the area. If true, this raises a number of questions about the cargo being moved. We'll need a squad to investigate. Central should have our complete report momentarily. This, um, this is like a lot earlier than I was expecting this mission to happen. So, I'm, you know, just gonna quickly save. Because, you know, this should not be happening. And why am I going to the situation room? Mission control. Portent. <sighs> okay, so the mission has started. We'll probably get three episodes out of this. Prepare for deployment, strike one. France is sending an urgent mission request. Yeah, I picked up on that. Operation Enduring Days.
there's been widespread speculation about this ambush on a French military convoy, but we don't have much to go on. Our primary concern is the Council Intel report indicating alien activity in the area. We need to secure the site and look for some clue as to what happened here. New objective received. Hmm. So I'm pretty sure that we want to just kind of go forward. Hmm. Aliens? No. Eatberg's got a lot of health now. Okay, ain't cod. Any aliens in this direction? Uh-uh. Flores... You just kinda move forward. And as for you... Shepard... I'd like to get you up on a roof. So, everyone Overwatch? I want to be very cautious. moving forward. Because this mission is like way earlier than we're supposed to get it. And I haven't lost any people yet. And I have no intention of starting that trend. You head over here. And, um, Overwatch. So let's see, um, we do kind of need something to talk about at the moment, right? human in its appearance. They could be using it as an infiltration unit of some kind. Ah. I'd recommend capturing it for further analysis. Well, if it isn't the first thin man. These guys are a bit more dangerous than sectoids because they've got pretty good aim, but... You know, the only one you should be able to see right now is Eatberg, and she's basically like a damage sponge. So... If he moves, we will, uh, we will shoot him. So I'm gonna put these three on Overwatch. And Commander Shepard... Ah, shit. No full cover. Okay, well, go here, please. Yeah, I don't think he can see her. Because she can't see him. So let's see what the thin man does. That does not surprise me. So, Eadberg. You feel like, uh, getting a little bit of vengeance on that prick? I am very disappointed. Okay, Ankod, you're up. Your woman needs some healing, heal her. Uh, like I said, the Thin Men have, like, very good aim. It's, um, you know, like a, a pretty big, 
big issue about them. Um, let me take a look. Damn, no lightning reflexes. Edberg has a 49% chance to hit. Don't fail me! I always believed in you, Edberg. Okay, Ankod, I'm gonna have you move up. Ah. There's another one. You've got a 50% chance to hit. It's a coin flip. I really should put him to Overwatch or drop a smoke grenade or anything. Just shoot. How is it you always miss? I don't understand how it is you always miss. Well, now we need that guy dead. Are you fucking kidding me? 